Hello, my name is Adam Garland. I'm the town manager here in Oxford. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the sewer department budget, which is going to be addressed by Article 13 on the town meeting warrant this year. As you can see over my shoulder here, town meeting this year is going to be Saturday, June 3rd at 10 a.m. at 79 Pleasant Street, which is the school located behind the old town office on Pleasant Street. So just as a couple of reminders, if you're interested in some backup information about town meeting or reference material. We have the town report, which is available online and also will be available at town meeting. It's also available in hard copy here at the town office. Just like we also have the uh, handout that we do for town meeting that goes over each of the Warren articles, as well as the associated budgets attached to each. And this, in fact, is what we're going to be looking at here shortly and uh, with the sewer department budget. So with that being said, I'm going to do a screen share so you can see the sewer department budget along with me. So looking at the sewer department this year, we see a total department budget increase of $34,544, bringing the total sewer department budget to $406,081. So let's go ahead and scroll up here and take a look and see where these increases and changes are coming from. All right, so now when we get to the top of the sewer department budget, again, a reminder, this is Article 13 on the town meeting warrants. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first, the first piece that we see is the regular payroll with an increase of $9,990, bringing the total line item to 123811 This is based on cost of living wage increases for the employees at the sewer department. Also, we see overtime, which has increased by $255, bringing the overtime line to $2,755. Overtime for sewer department employees is used on times where they might get called in and they're off hours to deal with an emergency or issue with the plant, or if they're held over again because of same issues or snowstorms and so forth. On call sees an increase of $6,936, bringing the line to $10,936. So what the on call line is, which is different than the overtime line, is that we 24 hours a day, seven days a week, have to have an employee available to um, respond to issues at the plant that may arise. And what, what how that is handled is on call is paid one hour per day that the employee is on call. So if the employee is on call um, for the weekend, they would receive their on call pay for Saturday and Sunday. If they are not called in uh, or contacted, then they then they only get their one hour per day. If they are called in, they receive their one hour of call in time, and then that's when the overtime would kick in as well. It would be to pay them for their actual time for coming in. The plant is very automated, which is wonderful because uh, what happens is that if there is an issue, the computer system at the sewage plant will alert the person who is on call to what the problem is. And oftentimes they're able to you know, correct it remotely and not even have to come in and just take care of it on the following Monday. Social Security sees an increase of $1,065, bringing the total to $8,525. That is based on payroll. Medicare, which is also based on payroll, sees an increase of $249, bringing the line to $1,994. Health insurance is based on the enrollment of the employees at the sewer plant, sees an increase of $899, bringing the line to $31,333. Retirement sees an increase of $2,010, bringing the line to $12,238, and that is based on the number of employees and the match rate set by the main state retirement system, or main PERS, I should say. Workers' compensation is also based on payroll and sees an increase of $215, bringing the line to $4,703. Moving down further, electricity sees a $4,000 increase, bringing the amount up to $54,000. And this is based on the projected usage for the wastewater treatment facility itself, three bridge crossings, and six pump stations. 
obviously the sewer department is a major electrical user. Um, and just for those that might have curiosity, I didn't understand early on what the bridge crossings were, but basically what bridge crossings, how those work is it's a, not a matter of pumping, it's a matter of keeping them heated during the winter months so that the, the material doesn't freeze going through. So learn, learn something new with, uh, with some of these items. All right, I get a little ahead of myself here. Telephone, telephone sees an increase of $76, bring it to $2,428. Internet sees an increase of $324, bringing it to a total of 2,172. Water remains the same at $1,616. And uh, as I'm breezing through these, I should note that the description of how these numbers were calculated is uh, in the description here. Um, pretty minimal changes to those utilities though. Propane heat sees a decrease of $2,925, bringing the line to $7,575. It is based on the projected usage and the projected per gallon uh, price. And reason that we're able to get this such an aggressive $1.16 uh, per you know, gallon price for the uh, propane is because we do buy it in such bulk um, for, the sewer, for the sewer plant. Office supplies remain the same at $500. Equipment and parts supply remains the same at $20,000. And as the description says, this is everything in general tools, lab supplies, distilled water, um, which is used for the testing at the, at the plant, as well as uh, motor replacements, hardware, um, just general equipment and things that might need to be replaced that wear out or just are used up. Um, one of the things that the sewer superintendent wanted me to note in the budget and, and to you folks listening to this is that he's finding it challenging every day because the cost of all the materials and things that he needs to run the plant continue to go up. Uh, and it seems like, frankly, with no end in sight, it's just everything keeps wanting to cost more money every day. But we're all familiar with familiar with that in our own lives as well. Uh, clothing sees an increase of $100, bringing it to $600 total. And that's for uh, boots, t-shirts, pants, jackets, and such for the employees. Chemicals sees an increase of $3,290, bringing it to $10,290 total. And the a lot of these chemicals that are used, we've listed some of them here. Um, you know, a lot of them are required, or they are required, excuse me, by Maine DEP, uh, licensing requirements and the chemicals that need to be available for him to process and treat treat the uh, sewer material that comes into the plant. Gasoline is uh, pretty minimal, but it's down by $350, bringing it to $650 total, and that is projected on a $4 per gallon price and 163 gallon projected use. Diesel is up $960, bringing the total to $2,016. Diesel is uh, used at approximately 40 gallons a month, uh, 40 gallons a month, and it's used for the standby generator. It has to do its, week, its uh, weekly exercise or testing, um, and the generator is only used for emergencies. So obviously, we had an emergency where the power is out for 24, 48 hours. We would use a significant amount of fuel, but um, based on the projected amounts we have here, we're just seeing a $960 increase. Software, uh, which is Microsoft Office uh, licensing, remains the same at $100. Professional services sees an increase of $3,000, bringing the line to $25,000 total. As it notes over here, this is contracted lab work, which is about $12,000 a year. Um, this is required by main DEP and cannot be done by the plant staff. So these are, this is lab work that we have to have uh, brought in or done by an outside vendor. Uh, professional services also includes uh, maintenance on the plant control software, which is a specialized IT person beyond your generic and general IT, as it's all very sewer plant specific. And then outside contractors you know, as needed, uh, that would be needed for general contracting work. Under professional, we have dues. This remains the same at $290. As you can see, this is operator license fees for employees and the main water environmental uh, membership. 
training conferences. This includes their professional development that they need for their certifications. Sees an increase of $150, bringing the total to $900. Mileage remains the same at $100. It's uh, pretty minimal because they do have the uh, the pickup truck there that uh, the sewer department has for use, as well as one of the electric vehicles that uh, the town got through a leasing program through Efficiency Maine a couple of years ago. They have that for one more year as well. Building maintenance remains the same at $3,000. Vehicle maintenance remains the same at $1,000. And then we have pump station maintenance, which remains the same at $4,000. Pump station maintenance does include the pump stations as well as three bridge crossings. And these are uh, parts of the system that are not at the actual sewer plant. Sewer line maintenance remains the same at $3,000. Sludge disposal sees an increase of $4,300, which is $9,100 total for the line. So this is for the removal and disposal of processed waste. Um, our estimated amount is 70,000 gallons of waste this year at 13 cents a gallon of disposal. That includes trucking and disposal fees. We just put it together in one, one amount. So the the wonderful thing with the sewer system we have here is the way that it pro it processes the waste as it gets rid of a significant amount of of the material. So what we're getting rid of is quite minimal compared to the volume in which we take in. We do have a contract that uh, this is a contracted rate of thirteen cents a gallon. We also have the safety line, which remains the same at a thousand dollars. We have the licensing fees. This is MDEP fees for plant operation, which remains the same at $1,450, $1,450. The North End Sewer, the North End Sewer remains the same at $59,000. And then we have, again, a total sewer department budget of $406,081, which is a total increase of $34,544. So I hope that this video was helpful and informative. I again encourage you to come to town meeting here on uh, June 3rd at 10 a.m. at 79 Pleasant Street. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or you can feel free to reach out to any of the selectmen and they would be glad to discuss it with you as well. See you at town meeting. Thank you.